not a little 20 something you know <laughs> so it's gonna be content that relates to the aunties because i'm the auntie okay <laughs> Or I'm your big sis, you know, depending on how old you are, because I'm not really old, but I, I'm not young, okay? <laughs> Welcome back to Serena Elizabeth. I am your girl, Serena, and um, Happy New Year. The last video that you guys probably saw was me talking about, you know, just recapping my 2021, which was the most traumatic year of my life. But through the, tra the trauma and through some of the experiences that I went through last year, I actually was able to reconnect with some of the things that I really love to do and find some other things that I found enjoyable. And so what I wanted to talk about today was what I want to do or keep doing in 2022. I sat here and thought about eight different things that I wanted to either start doing or keep doing in 2022 that is going to help me on my journey. This year is all about me. Previous years has been all about my family, just, you know, being a mom and a wife and all of those things. And now, not that I'm taking anything away from my family, but I am definitely looking forward to putting that focus back on me becoming who i am supposed to be so that is what my journey is about and if you like this kind of content self-improvement self-reflection journeys all of these types of talks definitely want to stick with me make sure you hit that like subscribe and then tell me in the comments what you're going to be doing in 2022 that are going to help you you know, moving forward to achieving your goals for the year. So let's get started. I actually jotted them down on my phone. So here we go. So one of the things that I want to do, and this is probably, you know, the, the, the one of the most important things or the most important thing that I want to do in 2022 is make my prayer life a priority. I've been working from home now for the last two years. Prior to working from home, I would commute to the office. And so that time of driving to the office was like my prayer time. I had about a 45 minute ride to get to work. And I would really take that time to kind of just pray, listen to gospel music or motivating music, listen to you know, anything inspiring to kind of get my day started. And then same thing on the way home, I could kind of decompress from the work day before I had to get started on being a mom and being a wife. So, and I took that time again to eat, just being prayerful, mindful, thoughtful. And so um, since being home, I don't have that separation. I don't have that alone time to really be able to get in my prayer closet and just be able to, to to pray to God. And then sometimes I find when I do only stick to praying at night, I fall asleep in the middle of my prayer. So I want to make prayer a priority and I want to get back to praying in the morning. So what that looks like for me is me getting up earlier. Now that's the tricky part. <laughs> It's not necessarily that I can't get up earlier. It's that my daughter comes in here every night, like clockwork, and she gets in the bed with me. She is such a cuddler, like her love language is touch. That girl will just be all up under you, like in every crevice, in your elbow, in your boobs. <laughs> like, she just has to feel you. So when I try to get up in the morning ahead of her, she feels me and she wakes up too and i really want to get up before her so that i could just have some time alone by myself like i said to pray to meditate to um have a cup of coffee you know in silence before i actually have to you know greet her and and you know just get her acclimated for the day so that i can just be more productive i can be in a better mindset so that's going to be the tricky part. 
I definitely need to implement prayer in any way, shape, or form. Um, and that's going to be my focus. Ideally, I would like for it to be first thing in the morning, getting up before everybody, her, <laughs> you know, and kind of doing my thing in silence. Um, the reality of it is that's going to be a struggle for me, but I'm going to find a way to make it work. And I'll definitely come back to tell you about it because I'm sure I'm not the only one with a toddler that hops in bed with them every day. I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> so, you know, I definitely will come back to, you know, let you guys know how that's working out. But that's what I want to do. And so in that time, you know, I just want to spend time in prayer, you know, maybe do a five, 10 minute meditation. I, I like to do the guided meditations because if I'm just, you know, doing it by myself, being that I'm new into the meditation, you know, my mind kind of drifts and stuff like that. And I've read a lot that that's natural, but I like doing the guided meditation. Ideally, what my idea of a perfect start to a day would just be frame my day for um, how I want the rest of my day to look. So that's first and foremost, definitely. The second thing I wrote down was therapy in 2022. I definitely want to get therapy. I feel like what I'm going through as far as like my grief journey and things like that, I feel like the ups and downs of what I'm going through is natural. I also feel like the depression that I feel from time to time is also natural because I'm dealing with grief. So I don't want to say that I am depressed. Um, like a clinically depressed kind of thing because I don't necessarily feel like that. I, I think I read that naturally, it, it, a natural depression, you know, might be a week or two of you feeling sad and all of that. Anything beyond two weeks of feeling sad is where, you know, uh, a therapist might start to be concerned about you actually being clinically depressed. So I don't know. I think I'll have to, um, you know, kind of track the next wave of that the next time to see if it is longer than two weeks. I told you guys before that, you know, my time is just a blur. So what I think might only have been a week might have been a month. And I just don't feel like that because everything is just like a blur a lot of you know my memory about certain things or um it's just a blur like i just don't remember everything well and that's you know just as a result of what i'm going through but i definitely need a professional to help me through my processes um help me deal with what i'm going through because what it boils down to is i need to get healthy from myself i need to make sure that i'm putting my best forward but I also have a daughter that I need to make sure that I'm raising her in a stable environment I don't want her to see me broken I want her to understand that it's okay to be broken and, and put yourself back together and what that looks like that you know we're not superheroes <laughs> I think um that was probably a mistake I made with my son I never let him see me sweat um and I don't know if it was a mistake it was just something that I didn't allow him to see so I don't know if he got a real depiction of what it looked like to you know struggle to get to where you need to go because I always made it look nice um for her um being a, a little girl a young woman who's going to go through some of the things that I'm going through like direct things that I'm going through um, I feel it's very important for her to get a realistic picture of what life, life looks like as a woman. And so um, I want to be healthy for her. I want to be able to raise her in the best environment that I can possibly provide. So I need to have all of my senses together um, and I need someone that is going to be able to help me through that process. So. I am looking for a therapist that specializes in grief and specializes in trauma. And um, I say trauma because I feel like uh, I've had traumas in my life that kind of kept me stuck. Where I haven't really gotten past those things. And then I thought I did get past them, but they kind of resurfaced. 
And then I'm like, well, that's still a trigger for me. Like that's still, you know, um, an issue for me. I haven't quite resolved that. And I have been, you know, trying to do some shadow work and all of those kind of things. But, you know, that's what we have professionals for that can actually help you do that. There's only so much that we can do on our own. I can read as many books as I want to read. I can, you know, do as much as I want to do on my own. But I have to understand that also, you know, that's what we have professionals for. So I am seeking therapy in 2022. My new insurance just kicked in <laughs> this month. So now that I finally have, I know what insurance I'll be having for the year, um, I'll be looking for, you know, a therapist. And I know a lot of therapists that have you pay out of pocket, but whatever the case may be, I'm just looking for the best therapist that's going to be for me. So that's what I'll be definitely focused on for the remainder of this month. And hopefully I would have found someone so that I can just be starting fresh for this year, you know, getting my mental health in order. It's definitely a priority for me. Self-care is um, something that I, I want to be more diligent with also because I feel like it's important. I told you all before, if you watched any of my videos, like I just give, I give, I give love, I give time, I give money, <laughs> I give. And I don't deposit a lot back into myself. I just put myself in the back burner. I've been, you know, so inspired by some of you young ladies that I get to watch here on YouTube how diligent you are with your practices and giving back to yourself and I'm like I really need to set some routine so that's what self-care is going to look like for me to carve out time every day to tend to myself not just you know my five ten minute shower and okay it might be longer if I'm washing and doing my hair and all of that kind of stuff typically for me you know it is a 10 minute you know routine in the morning and maybe a, a 20 minute routine at night and it's not really a routine it's just that i get to take more time because she's sleep but um i really want to carve out a practice carve out a real routine um really dedicate some time to myself daily and then maybe pick a day each week maybe sunday to kind of spend more time doing more of those um, routines, whether it be moisturizing, doing my nails. And then also, I really wanna do Reiki. And if I could, what I would like to do is do at least one Reiki session a month. One of the other things that I wanna do uh, in 2022 more of, I started this last year, um, and it wasn't even just when Corey passed. I had sporadically, started journaling throughout the year and I just I, I would see journal I would buy them and I'm like I'm gonna you know start journaling I'm gonna start writing down and I would start but I wasn't consistent I became a little bit more consistent after Corey passed I just had more thoughts more things that I was going through so I was writing them down and they're very cathartic like just brain dumping and getting out all of those thoughts but I just, I haven't been able to be consistent and that's what I wanna do. I wanna be consistent. I'd like to journal every day. Um, I'd like to do a brain dump in the morning and a brain dump in the evening. That's really what I would like to do. Reading, uh, reading has always been one of my favorite pastimes. Like I would read way more than I would watch TV and then it kind of like flipped. I started watching TV way more than I would read and then I just stopped watching TV. Like, I stopped watching TV. I really don't watch any network TV. The only thing that I really watch is YouTube. So I, I pay cable for nothing <laughs> at this point. So um, yeah, I want to start reading. I've been able to read last year. Um, I think I got through maybe like four books from maybe June to December. I just finished a book um, yesterday so I'm gonna start fresh um, starting tonight and I have a few books that I am going to start reading and I'll probably do another video as far as what I am reading what I'd like to do is I'd like to read a, a book uh, of the Bible I guess every month maybe I don't know how I'm going to kind of like chart that out but I, I, I want to be reading from the Bible, I want to be reading 
something that is entertainment. I want to be reading something that is like for financial literacy. I want to be reading something that is for self-development and something that is, you know, some like a skill. So that's that's what I, I want to kind of be reading on. And I don't know if I'll be doing multiple books at a time. I find it easier to do that when I'm doing it on audiobooks. Um, but I do have some hard copy books uh, that I'll be reading too. So we'll see how that works out. And I will be doing a video as far as what I'm reading in 2022. But that's what my thought set is. And because um, I love me a good book, Get Healthy. So um, Get Healthy. Last year, <laughs> I am ashamed like I'm not ashamed but it is what it is like you know life hit me hard as hell last year and I had already had gained and picked up weight and stuff like that it was you know happy weight it was settling in you know <laughs> and um and then I had lost a lot of weight because we had gotten married last year um not last year but the year before last in August so I had lost a lot of weight to get ready for my wedding then I had picked all of it back up uh, this last year you know just with everything that was going on so um, I just want to get back healthy I'm trying to impress anybody but myself I just want to feel like myself I'm telling you guys like that's what it's about it's about me this is a me year I am going to be selfish with my time selfish with my energy selfish with you know what I am willing to give to others you know because I really need to work on me I'm not saying it in a malicious way like I love all of my friends my family I love everybody I love all of you I am just focusing on me and me wanting to lose the weight is not for vanity it's just to feel like myself I don't feel like myself in this body I feel trapped in this body and honestly with all of this weight I don't feel like I don't know how to dress this body um, I don't so I, I just don't feel like myself and that's what it boils down to I want to get back to feeling like myself um, you know I'm not trying to be what I was when I was in my teens you know I, I am a grown woman but I just want to be back in my normal body and you know what to be honest it's not really a number for me because I do want to pick up some muscle and all of that I just want to get the look that I'm looking for like to get my body back whatever number on the scale that ends up being I'm totally fine with that but I am short so I do need to slim down just for health you know it is what it is but that is my motivation so I am going to give myself goals One of the ways that I was planning to get myself healthy is I want to do intermittent fasting and I've done that to help me lose the weight previously so I know I can do it I know it works I just have to get focused man I was trying to do that all week and every time I would forget that I was supposed to be fasting and I would put something in my mouth and I'd be like <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be eating so I have to like make my body understand this is what we're doing body this is what we're doing okay like I see you you see me right <laughs> so, I have to give myself a pep talk so that she understands the mission like listen you need to understand the assignment okay so we want to do intermittent fasting we want to do keto I am trying to transition more to a pescatarian lifestyle I have been, um, I, I've been mostly eating fish and, and shellfish and all of that stuff since Corey passed, to be honest. I feel like subconsciously I've been eating the things that I didn't have to cook for him because I cooked for him often. And I feel like maybe I am triggered by cooking now. So I don't really like to cook as much. Just if any of you have, are um, subscribed to my cooking channel, this is what's going on behind the scenes. Like, Cooking kind of triggers me and cooking those kind of savory, hearty, um, you know, soul food kind of meals triggers me because that's what I cooked for him. So low key, subconsciously, I've been eating seafood and, and shellfish, which are, you know, he couldn't eat shellfish. I, I eat shrimp like every day. <laughs> so, so I just want to transition into that kind of lifestyle now. I just want to move 
exercise like 20 minutes a day. So um, I had signed myself up for the gym, but listen, this pandemic, um, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. And this whole flu, corona, like, I don't know what they doing out there. So me going to the gym, um, in all honesty, is probably not going to happen anytime soon. Although I want to because I really want to lift some weights. But I just can't risk it. It's not that serious for me. I have a, a bike here. I have an elliptical here. I have um, kettlebells and free weights here. So I'm just going to work with what I have. And, um, you know, I, ha I have, shoot, I have Beachbody whole library here to be honest. <laughs> I, to be honest, I just don't have a DVD player anymore. I think I do. I think I do. I just, it's in a closet somewhere. But yeah, I, I can get it moving if I need to and um, right in my house. And that's what I'm going to do. I want to be financially fit as well. So I went from two incomes to one, you know, and um, I've been feeling the strain of adjusting um, my budget based on just one income and, you know, stretching to make, you know, things meet up, especially, you know, during this holiday season, you don't want to have it look different or feel different but you know I didn't want Christmas to look any different or Janae's birthday to look any different than it looked any other year because daddy wasn't there and not that I and I don't want to put myself in a um, bad place financially as a result of it but at the same time I need to um, just know how to budget based on what I have personally I also need to be building multiple streams of income and I need to be saving more. I, I, I want to pay down some debt as well as save at the same time. So I have a couple of ideas that I'll be bringing to the channel as well. So maybe we can join in together and get financially fit together as I'm learning and, you know, finding tips and things that I've been doing. And I mean, for the most part, I have been able to, you know, just be able to take care of home and do what I need to do. But, you know, when you drop from, like suddenly, you know, drop from two incomes to one, you know, you're going to feel some strain. And I have definitely. And my eighth one, my last but not least uh, thing that I want to do for 2022 is grow my YouTube. Grow my YouTube. Um, you know, I'm new to this. I'm not really sure about the algorithms and what kind of content you want and everything that we're supposed to do as a YouTuber to, you know, get success with YouTube. But I feel like um, God put this on my heart and allowed me to um, get over my shyness and anxiety as far as like, you know, what I look like, even though I'm not comfortable in my skin. Like I've put off getting in front of the camera um, for so long because I'm like, I'm not as small as I, I want to be. I don't, I'm not, I'm not feeling like myself. I don't feel like how I want to feel. I don't look like how I want to look. And I've just continued to put it off and put it off and put it off. But something, you know, in me said, girl, just do it. You got other people on here looking how they look. Not everybody is an IG model. You know, not everybody is you know, this or that, you know, and if you go back to some of these girls, these it girls that are this or that and or look like they're this or that, if you go to their earlier um, content and when they first started, they didn't look like that. So get out there and do what you need to do. You have a story to tell. You have people that are, are looking for you. You have, you know, support and love people in your family and people that you are going to grow in the family that you are going to create through this YouTube, I literally felt God like ushering me to like, baby girl, get up and do this. So I'm here, I'm here, I'm putting it out there. I am showing myself my vulnerability, my, my chubby arms <laughs> and chubby cheeks, you know, and I am gonna do this and I am just gonna need your support. So if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, Share this with somebody that you think might like it. Also, leave me some um, comments, you know, and let me know what you're going to be doing in 2022 to get yourself 
closer to your goals. Um, also, if there's any kind of content that you like to see me create, anything that you like to see me hear me talk about, you know, things like that, ideas, whatever it, it may be, let me know. But I am definitely looking to grow with you. I am going to be consistently bringing you videos every week. So ideally, I post every Sunday um, around four o'clock. And then I'd like to post um, on most Wednesdays. Um, I don't always get the video out on Wednesday. Sometimes it's on Thursday. So my goal is to be consistent and to bring you fresh content from me. Like I am not a little 20 something, you know? <laughs> so it's gonna be content that relates to the aunties cause I'm the auntie, okay? <laughs> or I'm your big sis, you know, depending on how old you are. Cause I'm not really old, but I I'm not young, okay? <laughs> So that is my video for you today. This is what I am going to be doing in 2022. These are things that I think are going to get me closer to my goal, to becoming who I'm supposed to be, to becoming her. Like, that's what I want. I want to be whoever it is that I'm supposed to be, discovering myself. And so I appreciate you all for just joining me, watching this video to the end. If you got to the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. When I'm with you, all the wrong feels are right, I am.